The U.S. and its allies have come out with all guns blazing this week, accusing Beijing of supporting Chinese officials who are hiring criminal hacking groups that are targeting individuals and companies worldwide for profit. Here are the details. CNN reports that the U.S. and its foreign allies accused China of supporting widespread criminality in cyberspace on Monday, July 19th. The U.S. says the crimes that China helped support include a massive hack of Microsoft's email system and other ransomware attacks against U.S. companies. In a coordinated announcement, the White House and governments in Europe and Asia accused China's Ministry of State Security of using criminal contract hackers to conduct a range of destabilizing activities around the world for personal profit. White House officials said they were surprised by the extent of Chinese involvement in hiring criminal networks to invade and extort money around the world. One official said at least one American company had been targeted for a large ransom by hackers working in association with the Chinese intelligence service. While the public announcement represents a dramatic escalation in the increasingly urgent attempt by the Biden administration to stave off further breaches, Biden stopped short of applying new punishment against Beijing. Unlike many of the attacks emanating from Russia, the extortion attempts from China have closer links to the government, according to administration officials. Those attacks include cyber-enabled extortion, cryptojacking, and theft from victims around the world for financial gain, along with ransomware attacks against companies demanding millions of dollars. MIT analyzed the infamous chaos hack that targeted iPhones and found evidence suggesting the Chinese government is using civilian hacking competitions to find new hacks for a strategic hacking program, saying that China seemed to have used such a hack as part of its genocidal strategy to erase its Muslim minority. Here are the details. MIT's Technology Review magazine recently analyzed the infamous chaos hack that targeted iPhones in 2018, suggesting that China used a civilian competition to create the hack and then used it to spy on its Uyghur Muslim minority. The U.S. accuses China of committing genocide against its Uyghur population. The magazine linked the hack to a statement made in 2017 by the CEO of the Chinese cybersecurity giant Qihu 360 when he said Chinese hackers should stop participating in international hacking competitions as such competitions give tech companies the chance to fix the hacks before China could use it to spy on people. The Chinese government agreed, forbidding its hackers to participate in such competitions. The next year, the first Tianfu Cup competition was held in China where citizens are forced by law to help Chinese spy agencies. The magazine says that U.S. officials and tech companies later found that the prize-winning hack at that Tianfu Cup was very similar to the hack used later that year to infiltrate iPhones used by Uyghurs. For the past seven years, China has committed human rights abuses against the Uyghur people and other minority groups in the western province of Xinjiang. Well-documented aspects of the campaign include detention camps, systemic compulsory sterilization, organized torture and rape, forced labor, and an unparalleled surveillance effort. The U.S. and a number of other countries have called the actions a genocide. The disruptive power of ransomware attacks was already on full display last month when hackers attacked Colonial Pipeline, halting fuel distribution from a crucial U.S. pipeline for days. Now, a new ransomware attack on a global meat supplier is threatening the food supply chain and underscoring once again that ransomware is an urgent national and international security issue. Here are the details. The BBC reports that the world's largest meat processing company has been targeted by a sophisticated cyber attack. JBS said on Monday, May 31st, that its computer networks were hacked, causing operations in Australia, Canada, and the U.S. to shut down. Bloomberg reports that the shutdown had halted 20% of America's meat production. The White House said that this was a ransomware attack by a criminal group likely based in Russia. It said the FBI is investigating the attack, while the White House is engaging directly with the Russian government and delivering the message that responsible states do not harbor ransomware criminals. In a ransomware attack, hackers get into a computer network and threaten to cause disruption or delete files unless a ransom is paid. The attack could lead to shortages of meat or raise prices for consumers. JBS said it had made significant progress in resolving the cyber attack and hoped the vast majority of its plants would be operational by Wednesday, the 2nd of June. According to the trade group, Beef Central, supermarkets and other big-end users, like the supply network for McDonald's burger patties, will be some of the most immediately impacted customers due to their need for consistent supply. When you think of computer hacking, you think of code on a screen, internet banking, and email scams. What you don't think of is a large fuel pipeline. And yet, this weekend, hackers targeted exactly that. 
Here's what you need to know. The hack on a 5,500 mile pipeline on the U.S. East Coast is being looked at as one of the most significant attacks on key national infrastructure in history, according to the BBC. The Colonial Pipeline, which according to CNET, serves fuel to seven airports and 14 states, was forced to shut down on Saturday after hackers broke into its computer systems in order to hold the company to ransom. Colonial is working with shippers to deliver fuel, according to CNET. However, the Associated Press says more than 1,000 gas stations in the southeast have reported running dry due to panic buying, with states of emergency declared in both Florida and Virginia. It is possible hackers could have gained access to Colonial's computer network simply using an email to an employee, according to cyber expert John Nichols from Checkpoint, who was cited by the BBC. The FBI has identified the hacker group Darkside as the group behind the attack, and describing Darkside's sophisticated operation, Cyber Reason reports that they use a help desk to negotiate with the targets of their attacks and have their own affiliate program. CNET reports that these types of cyber attacks have become common. City governments around the U.S., including Baltimore's and Atlanta's, have been hit by ransomware attacks in the past, and hospitals have been forced to shut down. U.S. President Joe Biden has said he is being personally briefed on the situation. Responding to the large-scale political repercussions of its hack, Russia-based Darkseid has already attempted to backtrack. According to the BBC, it said on its website, Our goal is to make money and not creating problems for society. We do not participate in geopolitics, it added. We've all been there, haven't we? You've hacked into the biggest pipeline in the US and you suddenly realize the American government might come after you, so what do you do? Tell everyone you didn't mean it. It was just about stealing millions of dollars. No big deal, nothing to see here, and hope it all goes away. To be honest, it seems like these guys are good at computers, but not great at life. A 22-year-old computer geek from the UK is being hailed a hero for stopping the global spread of a ransomware attack that began last Friday. The ransomware, known as WannaCry, exploits a vulnerability in Microsoft Windows that was revealed in stolen NSA documents. The malicious software locks computers and demands users pay 300 US dollars in Bitcoin to retrieve their files. A British researcher stopped the attack after discovering the malware was connecting to an unregistered domain. The researcher paid around 10 US dollars to register the domain name, which activated a kill switch in the ransomware. However, the researcher warned that the hackers would change the code and reboot the ransomware. Cybersecurity experts feared there would be a fresh bout of infections on Monday as people returned to work after the weekend. Last week, the ransomware locked more than 200,000 computers in over 150 countries. It caused chaos at organizations including Britain's National Health Service, FedEx, and Telefonica in Spain. Experts advised users to download a patch for Windows and reboot their computers to prevent the ransomware from spreading. The U.S. government is increasing its efforts to protect election databases and electoral systems from hackers in the run-up to next year's presidential elections. The Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency, or CISA, which is part of the Department of Homeland Security, issued a statement and a set of guidelines in order to prevent next year's election from being compromised. The agency warned that hackers may try to target voter databases and attempt to manipulate, disrupt, or even destroy voting data by conducting ransomware cyber attacks. In a ransomware attack, hackers lock a computer with malicious software until someone remits money, usually in the form of cryptocurrency, to the attacker. CISA said in a statement that they will be working with the Election Infrastructure Information Sharing and Analysis Center to provide remote vulnerability scanning and risk assessment for state governments upon request. CISA issued a set of guidelines urging local governments to regularly back up critical data on the system and to store backup files offline. However, an unnamed senior Homeland Security official told Reuters that there is no standard regulation stating how often backups should be created. CISA also urged local governments to have a clear plan to address the cyber attacks and to request assistance from their agency or the Election Infrastructure Information Sharing and Analysis Center if attacks occur. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.